I'm on record here as saying that Philip K. Dick is one of my favorite authors of all time. As a matter of fact, on my top 10 list of favorite authors, I put him as number two on that list. And I talk about him quite a bit here on the channel, either his books or his movies or just something about him all the time. And one of the questions I get most frequently is, if I wanted to get into reading Philip K. Dick, where exactly do I start? What's a good jumping off point? And then, of course, there's no such thing as a right answer to this question ever with any author. But I think with Philip K. Dick, more than other authors, there is one answer that is probably the best answer. Like I said, there's no such thing as a right answer. You can get into any author at any point, period. And I stand by that. But when it comes to an author like Philip K. Dick, this guy was out there. Like, he was out there doing and thinking about things that most people weren't thinking about. Most people still aren't thinking about the crazy shit that he was thinking about all while at the same time he would delve really heavily into drugs and he'd be writing novels about reality existence what is reality what is human and then tying all of that into religion all while he would be like working a regular job to try and pay the bills and then staying up all night doing amphetamines so that he could stay up long enough to write these books so imagine what that writing experience was like when you're talking about the nature of existence and reality and sometimes the human soul weird it got weird and it got weird fast now when it comes to philip k dick i bet you're already familiar with his work at least in one form or another even if you don't think that you are because there have been at least 15 movies made based on either one of his books or one of his short stories they come out like every couple of years there's a new movie based on philip k dick's work like blade runner total recall Minority Report, Imposter, The Adjustment Bureau, there's so many of them, it's just, I couldn't even begin to list them all here. Now getting to the question at hand here, which is, where do you start when it comes to reading Philip K. Dick? And I would say most of his books are a pretty good way to go, but I think the one true best answer is... Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? And that is just because it is such a good representation of... Philip K. Dick's writing style, it is such a good representation of the ideas and the thoughts and the themes that he's going to get into. It has the idea of androids and humans and what makes the humans human and what separates the androids. And at what point does that line begin to blur? We're going to start to question, are even all of our characters human is what's happening in the story really happening in the story then on the other side of it he's already tying in bits of religion into the story and ideas on religion which will become much more prevalent later on in his career especially when he gets to the wild head trip that is the Vallis trilogy which is not where I recommend you start, by the way. But like I said, it's just a, the most well-rounded that I can think of in terms of a really good representation of him, his writing, his writing style, his sense of humor, and the ideas that he will tend to tackle, all while being extremely approachable, extremely manageable, and extremely digestible as far as his books are concerned. There are actually other books, like I said, there's tons of really good entry points. There are actually other books that are more subdued, think something more like A Scanner Darkly or something like The Man in the High Castle, which is actually the book that won him the Hugo Award. And they might actually be just much more approachable for the standard reader because they're not getting into some of those bigger ideas that he gets into in his other books. But then I would say that that's not a great representation of him and his writing you want something with a little bit more oomph to it and a little bit more of his tendency to push into some interesting thought experiments that really kind of test you and your ability to go where he's gonna go once you've got this under your belt then there's this whole middle zone of like you could pretty much go anywhere in the middle without getting into his extreme works because now we're looking at books like Martian Time Slip, or Flow My Tears, The Policeman Said, or Dr. Blood Money, or Penultimate Truth, that Scanner Darkly, like I said, Man in the High Castle. There's this whole realm of second book territory for Philip K. Dick, but once you've gotten past the first, second, maybe even your third book, and you want to go into the little bit more weird and wacky and wild, that's when you've got stuff like The Three Stigmata of Palmer Eldritch, or Ubik, 
And once you've really tested yourself and you feel like, you know, I got a real good handle on this Philip K. Dick guy. Let me see. Let's see how deep this rabbit hole goes. That's when you go for Vallis and see just how far you can make it into that book before you just throw the whole thing out the window because you can't just can't like i just i can i totally understand if you bail on that book just dnf it because it just went so far down the crazy rabbit hole you just couldn't follow him down but all that aside i really do say that do android stream of electric sheep is the absolute best place another good spot just in case you don't want to start with this one or you would rather he has an entire pla he has an entire plethora of short stories he has so many short stories it's kind of crazy and then a lot of those short stories became movies like i said like total recall was based on a short story or even minority report oh, i think that was closer to a novella if i'm not mistaken although i have that was actually the second one i ever read was minority report um and i thought it was fabulous it's another really 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 good jumping off point but and, and, and any of those middle books that I kind of said, any one of those could be good jumping off points. I think there are a lot of good points where you can enter into reading Philip K. Dick. But I think there genuinely is, more so than most authors, a truly one best place to enter. And I just got to say, it's Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep. And it is, I don't know if I said this at the top, but it is the book that Blade Runner was based off of. Don't think that this is going to have that tone or that style because it sure doesn't. And there's only accurate up until about the halfway point, in which case the stories go in very different directions. But at least you have a good general idea of what to expect, at least in terms of the ideas that this book is going to try and cover. And of course, whenever you made it a couple of books into reading Philip K. Dick, whatever you do, don't stop or at least don't give up on him until you have attempted the glory that is Ubik, which of course is my personal favorite of all of his books, even though I don't recommend that's where you start. That's where you end up every time for sure. I'd also love to know which is your favorite if you've made it this far. And as always, everybody, the link for my Patreon's in the description below. The link for my Discord's in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.